What's up guys, welcome back to another Transfer Tuesday video. My name is Katie for those of you who are new here. And on these videos, I just like to update you guys on all of the transfers that we have made towards our financial goals within the last week. So we are working on several financial goals right now, but it seems like this past week, most of our transfers were made to debt payoff, which is awesome because we want to make progress on debt payoff, but it also kind of sucks to send you know, all of your money to debt. And I've been thinking about that a lot lately. I, I guess I use these videos also to kind of update you guys on like how I'm feeling and how I'm doing life changes and things like that. So I've been thinking a lot about like debt payoff and how much we've been putting towards debt. And I'm like, am I doing too much? Should we be enjoying life more? Just stuff like that. And don't get me wrong. I'm definitely still motivated to pay off debt, but I don't, I don't ever want it to be at the expense of like enjoying life because just like life's too short. So um, I've been thinking about that lately, just finding a good balance for the rest of the year where we can still meet our goals and achieve all the things that we don't want to achieve, but still enjoy life and not have any regrets about that. And that's kind of where my head is right now with financial goals. But again, I'm not like planning on just blowing all of our money or anything. Don't worry about that. I've also just been feeling a little bit down, especially today because we are now fully back into our school schedule. So we technically started last week, but last week was like only at home school days and they were called like academic warm up days. So they were just kind of easing the boys into doing schoolwork. It was a lot of like, get your binders ready, make sure you have all the materials, read your syllabus, stuff like that. But this week we're like fully back into the school year. And Monday was my boy's first day like back at school at their hybrid program. And it was kind of nice because Mark was off work. So we got to kind of do like a day date and go to lunch together. And he and I don't get to do a lot of dates. So it's always nice when we can take an opportunity to do that. But because Mark was home, it didn't really feel like sad or anything because I wasn't by myself. And then yesterday on Tuesday, the boys were with me and we did school at home. So that's always nice. It was a long day though, because I actually had to take them to the dentist as well. So that took like two and a half hours out of our school time. So we didn't finish school until very late in the day, which was a little stressful, but I mean, we got it all done. It was fine. But Logan, my oldest was a little bit stressed about it. Like, I don't want this year to be like this where I'm finishing school late every day. And I was like, it's not, it's just because we went to the dentist. So he was a little stressed about that, but Today, we are fully back at school. They're in their hybrid program, Mark's at work. So I'm back into like just me by myself with the dogs and the cats at home. And in a way it's good because I get a lot more done on these days when I'm just home by myself, but I'm also really sad. And I know that sounds silly because again, my kids are only away from me two days a week, like the rest of the time we homeschool. But I just feel a little bit bummed out because like summer's over now and they're back at school. And I actually like having my kids home with me. I like being around them and I like, you know, being able to do fun things with them. So now when they're home, we have to do school. And when they're not home, I just miss them. So I'm a little bummed out today. Um, so just being honest with you there, I'm not my usually, you know, happy, peppy, positive self. I mean, I'm still happy, but I don't know, I'm just a little bummed out too. Like summer's my favorite time of the year and it makes me sad every single time that it ends, so. Anyway, I do have some transfers to share. And like I said, they all went to debt payoff. So the first transfer is for our SoFi payment. So we made our minimum payment on SoFi, which is $935. It's a monster minimum payment, but it's just the minimum payment. We didn't send anything extra. However, Mark's employer should be making a payment to SoFi in the next couple of days. So that kind of helps accelerate SoFi without us sending anything above the minimum payment, which is really, really cool. So I'm very thankful that they offer that program. I don't think I'll ever stop saying that because I know that it's not something that they have to do. It's just an extra benefit that they offer and I'm thankful for it because it will help us pay off SoFi so much faster. The next transfer that I made was a small one to FedLoan 5. So I earned $45 from babysitting that I sent to, Fed, that I sent to FedLoan 5. And I actually, again, the boys started school like kind of last week. So I didn't babysit last week, but she paid me this money last week because she forgot to pay me the week before. And I just texted her and was like, Hey, you forgot to pay me. I'm kind of awkward. Like I don't like doing stuff like that, like asking someone for money, but she like is totally cool about it and was like, 
told me before, like I even started watching the kids, like if I ever forget to pay you, please tell me. So I just had to tell her, hey, you forgot to pay me and she paid me. So I went ahead and sent that over to a FedLoan 5. So a small payment again, but those small payments add up if you can keep finding ways to add extra money. And then the last transfer that we made was again to FedLoan 5, but this was money that we had left over from Mark's paycheck. So he's only received one paycheck so far in August. He has two more because we have a three paycheck month, but um, he's about to receive another one this week. So I kind of wrapped everything up with his first paycheck and the money that he had left over, I sent to FedLoan 5. So that was $392. So we haven't made a lot of payments to FedLand 5 so far this month for like a three paycheck month because I'm planning on sending like $5,000 hopefully or close to that to FedLand 5 this month. And we've only sent like, I think this brings us to 892 so far. So we have a long way to go, but again, he's only received one paycheck and I did try to pay several of our bills with his first paycheck. So hopefully over the next couple of weeks, we can send way more to FedLand 5, which is very exciting. So those are all of my transfers and my news that I had to share with you guys, but I do have some transfers to share from my subscribers. So every time I film these videos, I like to share some of your transfers so I can celebrate with you and that this community can cheer you on. And let me tell you, this community is the best. I love how supportive you guys are of not only me, but of other people who are like trying to achieve their goals. So thank you guys so much for continuing to support everyone and cheer everyone on because it does feel really nice to be working on a financial goal and to be able to share it somewhere and have other people root for you. Because a lot of times in real life, people don't like to talk about money and you know you don't always wanna share what you're doing with people that you know. So it's cool to be able to share your accomplishments and have other people cheer you on. So thank you guys so much for making this community such a happy place and such a supportive place. I really appreciate it. So if any of you are watching today and you would like to share some of the transfers that you've made towards your financial goals within the last week, leave them down in the comments below and I will share as many as I can in next week's video. So the first transfer I wanna share with you is from Maddie who paid off the last $3,500 that she owed on her student loans. That's quite the accomplishment, Maddie. I hope you celebrated, that is so amazing. I hope one day I'll be able to tell you that we paid off the last of our student loans um, cause that's just so exciting. I can't even imagine not having a student loan debt. We've had it for so long. So that's really cool to see someone get on the other side of it. So huge congratulations to you. She also started her house savings fund and has $2,500 saved for a new future home. So that's so exciting that you were able to take the money that you used to put towards your student loans and start saving for something that you really want. So that's what this is all about, like save, paying off your debt so that you can start doing the things that you wanna do with your money. So all good things for you, Maddie. I'm so excited for you. Next, we have Bobby from Life with Bobby. She has her own YouTube channel. I will have it linked down below. But Bobby paid $600 to her high yield savings account, or she saved $600 in her high yield savings account. And she also paid $1,000 of a $1,400 personal loan. So she only has $400 to go, and this is to a relative. So hopefully she's not being charged interest on it, but it's still good to pay off those debts, get them out of the way so that you can, again, free up money so that you can do what you want to do. So awesome job, Bobby. You're doing amazing. Next, we have Destiny, who transferred $200 to her tuition savings fund. She now has over $2,000, and she is saving up for uh, Rad School, Rad Tech School, which is a great profession. I have one of my best friends went to Rad Tech School, so um, I think she would definitely recommend the career to anyone. It's been really great for her, and it's even better if you can pay for it ahead of time and not take on student loans. So amazing plan, Destiny, to hopefully pay for that tuition up front so you don't have to take on student loan debt because it's just a horrible burden to bear as soon as you get out of school, have to worry about how you're gonna pay off your student loans. So I'm so proud of you for planning ahead for that. And Destiny also earned $19 from her high yield savings account interest and she sent that to her emergency fund, which she says is now at $5,000, which is an amazing emergency fund to have for a college student. And sounds like you are doing all of the right things and getting your financial finances in a good place early on in life. And that's something that you will never regret in the future and you'll be so happy that you did. The next transfer I wanna share with you is from Thomas. So Thomas has always been very supportive of my channel. Thomas is one of those people that I aspire to be like when I am older because you can tell he just 
has been working on his finances, investing and saving for a long time and is just in a good place financially. And that is where I hope to be. Thomas also likes to share what he is reading and I always take screenshots of what he is reading so that I can look these books up and I still have not read any of them, but eventually I will. So um, Thomas invested $1,130 into his 401k and he also invested $500 into his joint brokerage account with his wife, Sue. It's nice to have people here who aren't necessarily in the same boat as me. Like I, I know a lot of the people who watch my channel are paying off debt, but it's nice to know that there are people out there who are already on the other side of debt payoff and they're still coming and watching and encouraging and supporting. So I appreciate you guys. Next, we have Sarah, who has also been around my channel for a long time, and Sarah very frequently shares her transfers with me. So she recently moved her um, high yield savings account to a different bank so that she could earn more interest, which is so smart. And it's something that I honestly probably need to look into because I love the free money that I get for my high yield savings account, but I know that there are other high yield savings accounts out there that offer more interest than what my current bank offers. So I use Capital One right now, but I know there are others who offer more. I think I'm getting like 4.3 or 4.4%, something like that. And there are definitely ones that are closer to 5%. So thank you for the prompt to look into this, Sarah. I've been meaning to do it for a long time. And I think that's really smart because you know, it's easy. It's an easy thing to do to switch your account and then you earn even more money. So why not do that if it's an easy thing to do and you can make more money? Sarah is also trying to replace her windows. So she transferred 200 euros to her window replacement fund, as well as a little over six euros that she earned from cash back and almost five euros that she earned from change that she had lying around. So again, all of these little things add up. So if you're working on a goal, don't think that, you know, a couple of dollars here and there isn't going to make a difference. If you could do that consistently, find a couple of dollars here and there, it will add up over time. So thank you guys so much for sharing your transfers with me. I appreciate all of you. And thank you so much for those of you who are watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.